welcome to pocket legend adventure this is my in-depth review on this game it's developed by space time studios who are also known for creating other uh, very good games like pocket legend arcane legend in this video i'll be reviewing the gameplay the gears and the skills the social aspects of the game the game mechanics and my thoughts and opinions of this game and how i would rate this out of 10. This is a story driven single player campaign game aimed at casual gamers. The progression system within the game is dependent on player tiers and this determines which map you will be able to complete. In order to progress you must complete a dungeon with a fixed amount of stars in order to continue to the next chapter. Firstly I think the graphic is very visually pleasing. I do like the fact that uh, cameras can be rotated and zoomed in. Uh, the enemies are also easier to identify. So it's a good thing if you know whether they're melee or uh, ranged uh, damage dealers so you can fight accordingly. As for the movement, it uses tap tap and hold. I personally don't like this system because I'm used to a virtual joystick so I'm not a big fan of the movement system but I found it is something that you can get used to very very quickly. As for the skills they're quite easy to use of course you just tap on them. The skills automatically lock into targets so if you even if you're not in range it will move toward them therefore you never miss uh, targets. The barrels found within maps also give additional boosts such as uh, speed, armor, health, um, other uh, features that I also do like in this game is the auto attack so if, you're, uh, if you have good enough gear you do not particularly have to complete the lower levels uh, manually so you can just auto attack them. I did like the background music, I feel like it has a very nice uh, pocket legend feel to it, so it was pretty good. Another aspect of this game is the ability to chat during battles, as well as to see uh, how many enemies are left in the map. The thing that I wasn't uh, completely sure of is uh, you can't really tell how to get 3 stars for example. It shows a timer but it doesn't say or give a fixed amount of time uh, that you could complete uh, the mapping in order to get uh, get the three stars or the two stars you need. But there could be other factors that uh, affect uh, how many stars are given to you. For example, flanking enemies. They also do not include how many enemies you have to flank or not in order to get the amount of stars you need. There could be more clarity on that respect. Uh, pets is another important thing to discuss in uh, the gameplay aspect because I love the fact that the pets just don't show up whenever you summon them when you need them and that's really helpful considering they do take damage and uh, stay out of battles to heal or regenerate for x or y amount of time. Uh, most people might disagree with me but I personally like the best gameplay because there is not too much grinding and you can play whenever you want and there's so many maps for you to choose from that by the time you finish all of them they will all start to come back again. At the start you will be able to complete the first three maps uh, or three tiers fairly easy so you will be able to complete them. In addition to this, I'd briefly like to mention the gauntlet, which is another uh, feature that I do like because it does set you up with a bit of a challenge. So if, you, if you're tier three or above, I do recommend you giving it a try. Uh, overall, uh, in the gameplay section, I rate this eight out of 10. As for the gear section of this video, there are five types of rarity of items. Common, Uncommon, Rare, Epic and Legendary, Legendary being the best. These gears can be earned uh, through running maps uh, from chest bought with Platinum 
and other form of rewards. These items can also be uh, liquidated in the furnace when you go to a town for an X amount of gold. If you press more stats on an item, it will show you what the item stats are and the rarity and what it does. If you're not happy with a particular type of stats, you can go back to the blacksmith uh, to reforge your item to get a different amount of stat. This usually requires platinum, which can be either purchased or received through uh, achievement points. As the game is only out now, I haven't had the opportunity to try out all of the skills and the, and the talents available, therefore I will exclude it from this section. But the ones I have tried so far were good. Currently the game is not very social and this is because there has only been one day since the game started. Uh, as soft one, so there isn't that many people on right now. Uh, but I do have quite a few friends already, and I have added all the developers as my friends already. So uh, those are the pretty much the only friends I have on right now. But they will be introducing guilds when the global release is out and community events as well. So it should be a lot more. Uh, PvP slash online multiplayer driven game uh, as the game becomes more popular so I have so I'm quite happy with the social aspect of the game for now. I personally feel this I feel I personally feel that I can play this game without paying any money so you can become the best without paying any money but it will require time and effort so be aware of that. Other than that, I think the monetization is done really well for this game and uh, it seems well balanced. Now the most important part of this video is what I actually think about it. Honestly, it's a really fun game as far as I can see. There, is, there are times when you run out of things to do and this is basically where you basically need to pay to come across this barrier or just you know keep grinding to your level which i don't mind it is an enjoyable game it's fun and it's new so everything i like in a new game is combined into this game it has a lot of character customization vanities skills pets that you could personalize and become the best with. I think this game is worth investing. It's worth investing your time and effort because I can see this uh, becoming really successful in the future. I highly recommend giving it a try for as long as you can. And if you're a Pocket Legend fan, then definitely give this a go. I give this game a solid 8 for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.